scientists Sidney Chapman in England and David Enskog in Sweden separately discovered the decency of gas diffusion based on intermolecular potential energy phi of the pair of molecules. Phi is a function of distance between the pair of molecules undergoing collision in order to get diffused, which is denoted by small r. Intermolecular force capital F equals to minus d phi by dr. This differential term can be best explained on the basis of Leonard Jones parameters, which are given as epsilon and sigma respectively. Chapman and Scott's theory was discovered for monoatomic gases, which holds good for polyatomic gases as well. So, what made this theory different? The reason is, in the Chapman and Scog equation, the basis considered is the equation of conservation of momentum for collision between polyatomic molecules. The center of mass coordinates are more important than the distance between two molecules. Let us consider two molecules of the same size, A1 and A2. So the center of mass, which is analogous to the concept of center of gravity, is exactly at the center of the distance between two molecules. But if there is a bigger molecule, B1, and a small molecule, A1, the center of mass naturally lies closer to the bigger molecule, B1. In the Chapman and Scott theory, Instead of taking the distance between the molecules as a position factor, Chapman and Enskog took the center of mass as a measure of the position and as a general dynamics deciding factor. By making this clever move, the relation of self-diffusivity and diffusivity both got simplified. The famous chapman Enskog equation is given by the following expression. Defining the terms involved, capital Omega is the collision integral. Sigma stands for Leonard's parameter for gases and is given by the cubic root of 0.841 into the molar volume of the gas at its critical point. And N is the Avogadro's number, an old friend from mole concept. This brilliant theory finds its applications in calculating the extent of mass transport during a molecular collision and calculating the effectiveness of nanoparticle coating when a surface is sprayed with gas molecules lodged with nanoparticles on their surface. That's all about...